is the mother of that brand new cub that we saw for the first time yesterday evening on the Sunset Safari. The second lioness just moved across to the left, but unfortunately I think she's... Oh, is there a cub there? No, most definitely not. I was hoping that perhaps the lioness was suckling. Oh, definite suckle marks. That's mum. And that is a really... I, I, I wish we could be closer, but unfortunately she's on the wrong side of... Oh, there's another little cub. That was a surprise. Okay, so there's new, new cubs, and then there's slightly older cubs. Judging by that level of coordination, that cub that just danced past definitely was not the one that we saw last night. The one that we saw last night was much, much younger than that. That little one that went dashing past, I think, looked about, in that brief instant that I saw it, about four or five weeks old. Maybe even a little bit older. Come back. Come back, little cub. Well, this mom is definitely showing signs of suckle marks, but now the fact that there is a second set of cubs confuses matters, because now we don't know exactly which mum it will be. Now, I don't know which lionesses these are. I said yesterday I thought they might be the Olololos. We're not far from the little governor's gate at all, as you may or may not have noticed. Some of you must have had a good chuckle at the fact that I didn't notice the boom go up behind me while I was staring at the camera. Somebody must have had a good laugh. There's the Olololo gate over there. Oh, Chandre, sorry, I know we're looking at the lioness. There's Mayer's parrots over there. Hmm, are you seeing the rollers? I know the parrots just, just went in behind this tree. And now they've, they've settled think where we can't view them. Come back, parrots. Ah. I've forgotten what the East African name for them is. It's the same thing as a mayor's parrot. That is a lilac-breasted roller. That is a lilac-breasted roller. Come back, parrots. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Did you see it flutter out there? Okay, if you go to the left of the roller and down, there. It's about in the center of your screen, somewhere around there. Um, uh, there it is. There we go. There you go. Awesome. Thank you, Jandre. Oh, what is this, the East African name for them? I can't remember. We call them Mayor's Parrots. Let me just check quickly. I don't know my bird book. If you know what they call them here, and I do apologize for not remembering what the different name is for them here. I think it's brown. I think it is brown parrots. Hello. I know we've been talking about lion cubs and we have a lioness, but she's very far away and I had to show you this bird. And of course, you've been talking about long-lived birds with Steph. Nice little connection there because, of course, parrots live for a considerable period of time as well, especially the larger ones. See the little yellow spot on the top of its head? Cool. Fantastic. Thanks, Chandre. I very much would like, want to get that particular bird on camera. We're going to take one last look at this lioness, and then we're actually going to start moving. I've got to meet up with Brent so that we can do a bit of a switchover. So I'm going to have to start moving in his direction, and he's going to have to start moving in mine. But let's quickly have a look at this lioness, and then if we manage, we'll get back here before the end of the sunset safari. Trust me, I'd love to stay and wait for her to go and fetch her cubs. The den site is about mm, 50 yards away from where she is. No, maybe 100 yards away from where she is lying now. And there's a very good chance with those cubs being as tiny as they are that she's going to go back to them and feed them at some point soon. The younger they are, the shorter the lioness, or the shorter the periods of time that the lionesses will leave them. Melissa, I've never ever experienced it or seen it. 
Um, and I'm not sure whether anybody else has either. I think that the natural instinct for the lioness is to be by herself. So Melissa's saying that she knows that the lioness takes herself off when it's time to give birth, but will they ever go off in pairs and give birth at the same time? While it's very possible to have... Oh, here comes a cub. Here we go. Come on, little one. Out you come. We want to get to know you. While it's very possible for lionesses to have cubs of very similar ages or give birth very close together, it is unlikely that their instinct, they might den close to each other. Oh, hello. Here we go. <laughs> Best chew toy in the world. Oh, until mom gets fed up and moves away. I wonder how many lions are in there. <laughs> It'd be really nice to know, wouldn't it? There's at least two lionesses and at least two cubs. Come on. Aren't you come, you little reprobate? Let's get an idea of how old you are. So no, they won't go and use the exact same den site. Remember the hormones, the maternal instinct, everything is more likely. <laughs> Cute. Why wouldn't you come and jump in this direction? Well spotted, Jandre. Ah, oh. oh, there comes another one, and there goes another one. There we go. Okay, a little bit older than I think I thought initially. Quite coordinated. Now remember that maternal instinct, it tends to make those females very, very solitary. Oh, so foot there. Let me try go back. Let's see if this would maybe help us. Where's the road? There's the road. No. Yep. Oh, you got him. But forward. Oh, I see the gap there. Okay. Let's have a look. I'll adjust as we go along. Okay. One, two, three, four. Everybody agree with me about four of them? <laughs> As we enjoy a last glimpse of these lion cubs for now, trust me, I really don't want to have to leave, but I have to. Let's go across to Steph, who finds himself in, well, I guess it's safe to say that he finds himself in a really rather similar position. <laughs> 